Well, I think there is a expectation uh, on the side of the of Japan that the U.S. is a reliable partner uh, in the rising tension with China. Uh, but uh, of course, the uh, we'll have to see whether the, that is reciprocated by the United States. Uh, the U.S. is, I think, somewhat worried that Abe might be. Uh, aggravating the tension unnecessarily. And uh, in this instance of the air defense zone, China's move was, uh, was, you know, came unprovoked from the Japanese side. And so the U.S. for now responded fairly firmly and quickly to the Chinese assertions, uh, much to the reassurance of the Japanese side. Joe Biden will visit, Ch Joe Biden visit China and he talk with China, he will talk about with uh, Chinese President Xi Jinping, and I urge the China, maybe, you know, he will pressure, you know, Chinese government to change their policy, especially, you know, the air defense, identification zone. But it's impossible, totally impossible, for Chinese government to ch change anything, especially, you know, air defense, identification zone. So the, the, the foundation of the U.S.-China relation cannot be changed since one of the issues, like air defense, identification zone. That is only one side. So compared to the other issues, like economic issues, political issues, strategic, you know, we have, you know, just then I, I heard the news about, you know, the cooperation between China and the United States, environmental governance, nuclear, uh, uh, clean energy, clean energy cooperation, many areas. So this is only one side. But I think, you know, the U.S. government finally will understand, you know, the Chinese position. Well, the most critical issue between Korea and the United States is how to deal with China. China has, has become very powerful, most influential in regional affairs, but actually we have been benefited by having U.S.-centered regional architecture since the end of the Korean War. So we don't want to change it. On the other hand, we have to develop our cooperative relations with China. But the South Korean perception of China is changing nowadays. Vice President Biden's visit to Korea, Japan, and China shows the U.S. commitment to the region. That's the U.S. claim. But from South Korean perspective, that's not enough. Of course, we appreciate the Biden's visit, but that's not enough. So should, there should be more. Uh, it's, Biden's visit could be interpreted as a symbolic gesture of the U.S., but there should be more concrete action taken by the United States to assure its allies about its commitment to the Asia-Pacific region.